I've never built an armature before, um, so that was a little bit to think about. Um, and having never built one, I think I got the form down basically as I wanted it. There are a few things I would have liked to have done, but I didn't have the time. Um, so I wanted to get this piece just to, to say what it wanted to, what I wanted it to, and to be to be there. You know, not to, you know, I wasn't going to get stopped by the limit of time. There. I'm actually just kind of throwing it out here to see what people's reactions are. That's like it's interesting. Yeah. A lot of people. Awesome. What's going on with that? What did you bring out here last night? Uh, early this morning. Okay. Well, I don't know. I just thinking I heard yesterday. I've done a bar of for school, matter of fact. Basically, I wanted to put this somewhere where this sculpture is somewhere where people would have to interact with it and come to terms with its size. Even though it is outside, it loses a little bit of that presence. Um, but I wanted it somewhere the public in general people would have to like interact with it, see what it's like, um, experience it per se. Um, my initial plan was to put it in the courtyard of the school, but that kind of fell through. They didn't want liability issues or something like that. So I kind of just did it guerrilla style and threw it in this part. So hopefully um, the city of Atlanta doesn't steal it from me. And hopefully, um, well I mean if something bad happened to it, it wouldn't be that tragic it would be more like a performance piece anyway 
So I mean, I'm not really too worried about it. That's, it's, it tends to be that everybody who's walked through the park, I don't know if they regularly do this or they're just doing it today, but they, um, they definitely take walk by, take a glance. Maybe they're busy. They haven't asked me. Most of them haven't asked me anything. Do you have? Dude, you me. haven't changed. You can't. I appreciate it, man. I'm just coming to you. I'm not coming. I'm not a professional. I'm just being real. <laughs> Realistic is yeah. the best policy. Yeah. Like 50 cents. Dude, check it, like, man. Give me a dollar, no, that's please. All I have. <laughs> We're college students. Just one dollar. Just one buck. No. One buck. I didn't have a dollar on me. Sorry, man. Take it easy. Easy, dude. Found it. What the hell is that? It's a sculpture, man. Okay. I think kazoo is... It's, um, it's an invasive species. It's a vine. You know, you see it, like, grown on everything. It grows over, like, road signs and Okay, stuff. and you just uh, made it into art. Right. Okay, I understand. See, I didn't know... I didn't know what cuts it was, but I, I'm, I see it because I do see it growing up buildings. Right, usually it's got green leaves on it and stuff. Yeah, you made a useful use out of it. Thank good, you. Uh, good horticulture here, so. Thank you. But um, it's interesting to see how people are reacting to it because it is, for some reason, it appears like it's attracting um, them and it seems like they um, want to know a little bit or know what, what it is at least, you know, to get closer to see it. Oh, you need it! <laughs> Yo, that's so cool. For me, the, the piece represents uh, chronic masturbation. Uh, the, the artist, Andrew Kirby, he masturbates quite a lot. I mean, usually to gay pornography. That's the, that's the funny thing. Because you wouldn't think he was gay, but he's pretty gay. He's pretty gay. <laughs>